if you look at uh, what we uh, talked about in last two days, it was about this harmony in family. And there we said that when we talk about harmony in family, the essential or the most significant thing is the relationship. And in relationship, the most significant thing is the feelings. Right? And we said that these feelings, you know, in the relationship is there in oneself for the other self. And <clears throat> we can understand these feelings and they are definite. You know. And once we understand those feelings, we have those feelings in us and they can be in continuity. And with these feelings, we can express, share these feelings with others. And that leads to mutual happiness. So if I have this feeling which is natural to me, which is naturally acceptable to me, it leads to my happiness. And if I share this feeling with others, then also gives happiness to the other because it is naturally acceptable to the other as well. So these four aspects we discussed about relationship. Number one, relationship is there between oneself and the other self. Second, <clears throat> there are feelings in relationship in oneself or the other self. Then we have these feelings which can be recognized. They are definite. They are not uncertain, indefinite, but they are definite and they can be recognized. And if you look at these feelings, you know, they can be seen in terms of these nine feelings that we have listed down, <clears throat> starting from the feeling of trust, which is the foundation value, to the feeling of love, which is complete value. So in terms of these nine feelings, we can understand you know, our relationship <clears throat> between one human being and other human being. And when we understand these feelings, we have these feelings in us. And when we have this feeling in us, it leads to my happiness. And when I express this feeling to the other, it leads to the happiness of the other as well. So this is, in a sense, what we have said. <coughs> now, let us look at these feelings one by one. <coughs> Try to look into them in some detail. So if you look at this feeling of trust, which is the foundation value, you know, which is at the base of our relationship, you know, or our acceptance of relationship. What it means is that when we have this clarity, you know, when we have this acceptance, which is born out of this clarity, that the other wants to make me happy and prosperous, then we feel assured. And this feeling of, you know, being assured is what we are calling as trust. So we are saying trust means to be assured. And when do we feel assured? When we are clear and we are confident that yes. To make me happy and prosperous. So ultimately we saw that as human being, we all aspire for this happiness, prosperity, you know, its continuity. So when I see that the other person wants to make me happy and prosperous, I feel assured of him. And that is what we are calling as feeling of trust. So look at this definition. You can look within and find out whether this definition holds good for you or not holds good for you. So that you can look into and find out. But this is the definition that we have proposed about the feeling of trust. Now, if this is the definition of feeling of trust, or this is what is the feeling of trust, then let us look into the this possibility of whether we can have feeling of trust on other or not. 
and if we do not have that feeling of trust on other what is the reason behind it you know what is the you know uh, cause for not having this feeling of trust or having a feeling of mistrust so in order to clarify this we have uh, this set of questions you know which we can look into and kind of investigate and find out for ourselves whether the other wants to make me happy or he wants to make me unhappy right or neutral he is so <clears throat> we have written down this set of questions 1a to 4a and then question from 1b to 4b and if you look at this you know <clears throat> first question i want to make myself happy now ask yourself is it naturally acceptable to you do you want to make yourself happy what is naturally acceptable to make yourself happy or unhappy similarly when i look at this second <coughs> statement i want to make the other happy what is my natural acceptance given the choice i would like to make the other happy or unhappy so you ask it this question to yourself and you will be able to get this answer that yes <clears throat> as far as my natural acceptance is concerned as far as my choice from deep within is concerned <clears throat> i want to make myself happy and i want to make the other happy so we have put a tick mark there in 1a and 1b now if you look at this the other wants to make herself or himself happy what do you think there has to be a tick mark or a question mark so if you look at that your first guess is that yes there has to be a tick mark when it comes to for question 4a the other wants to make me happy what is your response so the first response generally is that there is a question mark so we'll put that first play, you know response and analyze this later and ultimately whether you know when we ask in terms of our natural acceptance will it be for <coughs> this the other wants to make me happy or otherwise but this we will look into you know and analyze <clears throat> similarly now we have another you know this is question about our natural acceptance what is our natural acceptance and this natural what is our natural acceptance is what we are defining as intention this is what we are defining as intention and this is what we what is naturally acceptable to us right this is what we have written down intention which essentially we mean what is our natural acceptance right which means what is naturally acceptable to me now let's look at this 4b you know for 1 1b to 4b and this is about our ability our own ability ability of the other so let us ask this question 1b i am able to make myself always happy so there is a tick mark or a question mark so when we ask this question about ourselves we can see that yes we are not able to make ourselves happy all the time right so sometimes i am able to make myself happy sometimes i am not able to make myself happy so there is a question mark then second question i am able to make the other always happy am i able to do it always no so there is a question mark the other is able to make herself or himself always happy 
that you can see around and see there is a question mark and the four b the other is able to make me always happy there is a tick mark or a question mark or a double question mark so there is a double question mark right in fact most of our our discussion goes around that you know that i am doing good to him and he is not reciprocating you know and particularly my family members and my spouse and, you know, and all that so this 4b there is a double question mark so you can see this difference if you look at 1a 2a 3a there is a tick mark when you come to 4a there is a question mark but when you look at 1a 1b to 4b there is question mark everywhere and in 4b there is double question mark so when it comes to our natural acceptance we have natural acceptance to be happy and make others happy 1a and 2a is very clear but when it comes to our capability our ability to do so right there is question mark that is i am not able to make myself always happy and make the other always happy so we may be lacking in the ability lacking in the competence so this ability is what we are calling as our competence right natural acceptance is what we are calling as intuition so there is clarity about or definiteness about my intention my natural acceptance to be happy and make other happy but there is a question mark about my ability about my competence to ensure that happiness within me and you know, happiness in the other so what i want to be and what is naturally acceptable to me is to be happy and make others happy but when it comes to my competence when it comes to my ability when it comes to what i am right i am not able to ensure this <laughs> sometime i am able to make myself happy sometime and happy similarly sometime i am able to make the other happy sometime i am cause of unhappiness for the other so this is very important <clears throat> now when we looked into this and we analyzed this whole situation we found that the basic reason for this question mark in 4a is that when i am looking into myself and i am evaluating myself i am evaluating my intention my natural acceptance so when i look at my natural acceptance i find that yes i want to be happy and i want to make others happy and therefore i conclude that i am a good person but when it comes to evaluating the other i am evaluating the competence of the other the ability of the other so this when we are evaluating ourselves we are evaluating on this block on the left side 1a and 2a when we are evaluating the other we are evaluating them on the basis of this block on the right side you know, 3b and 4b so when i am evaluating my intention i am evaluating my when i am evaluating myself i am evaluating my intention my natural acceptance and i think that i am a good person when i evaluate the other i am evaluating his competence his ability and i find that he is not able to ensure that happiness in me right so he is not able to ensure making me happy all the time and therefore i see that he is not having that competence he is not having that ability and from there i conclude that he may not have the intention so looking at 4b i am doubting the intention of the other so this question mark in 4a is coming from 4b so this is the basic problem this we must understand it in all our relationship the basic problem is this 
that the other wants to make me happy, but he's not able to make me happy because the other is not having the competence. Not that he does not want to make me happy. So the problem is not of the intention, but the problem is that of the competence. But by evaluating his competence, I am doubting his intention. Right. This is something which you have to understand. This is something which we have to understand that when we are evaluating ourselves, we find that our natural acceptance is for make, being happy and making others happy. So our intention is good. Therefore, I am a good person. When I'm evaluating the other, I'm evaluating his competence and I'm finding that he is missing that competence. And therefore, I think that he is a bad person. I start doubting his intention. So this we have to look into. It's a very important thing to investigate and see for ourselves that our doubt on intention of the other is arising out of our evaluation of his competence and not the intention. But when it comes to ourselves, we doubt, we evaluate our intention. <clears throat> and therefore, we keep thinking that I am a good person. I want to make him or her happy. But this other person intention is something bad. You know? he, maybe he wants to make me unhappy. And we can see that this doubt on intention is a major reason for problems in the relationship. Right. So when I doubt their intention, I assume their lack of competence to be their lack of intention. I feel opposed to the other. I get irritated. I get angry. All this happens, right? All this happens because there is doubt on intention. And as a result, I may not speak to the other for days or even break up the relationship. Right? And you must have lost many good friends for this reason. <clears throat> now, if we understand this, and if we can evaluate our own intention and the intention of the other, and at the same time, if we can evaluate our competence and the competence of the other, then we can see that we have the right intention. We want to be happy and make others happy. And like us, everybody else also has the right intention. They have this natural acceptance to be happy and make others happy. Therefore, I will have trust on intention of everybody. So this is one important thing. And this will provide the basis for relationship. This acceptance that deep down our natural acceptance is to be happy and make others happy. And therefore, everyone wants to be happy and make others happy. This acceptance, this clarity, would give rise to trust on intention of everybody, right, and unconditionally. Unconditionally, we will be able to see that, yes, everybody wants to be happy and make others happy. That is what, what, is, what is their intention. But when it comes to the competence, we may have the competence or we may not have the competence. Like, I do not have the competence to ensure this happiness for myself all the time. And I do not have this competence to make others happy all the time. Similarly, the other person may also be missing that competence. So when it comes to making a program with him, I will make the program on the basis of evaluation of the competence. So when it comes to having this feeling of trust, I will have the feeling of trust on the basis of the intention, right? 
So I will have the trust on intention of the other unconditionally. But when it comes to making a program with him, I will make evaluate my competence. I will evaluate the competence of the other. And on the basis of this evaluation of competence, mutual competence, we will make the program. And when we are making program with the other, with that trust on intention, we are trying to first make the program based on our mutual competence. And second thing is that I continuously try right, to improve upon my competence and the competence of the other. So this is what will become my program. So I begin by improving my own competence and I am willing to help the other to improve his competence. And by I am making that effort to improve upon my competence and improve upon his competence, I do not get irritated, I do not get angry, I do not have that feeling of opposition. So you can see that when I have trust on intention of the other, I will feel related to the other. Right? And with that feeling of relationship, I will evaluate my competence, his competence. And based on this mutual competence, I will make the program with him. So we have written down there, trust on intention is the starting point for mutual development for acceptance of relationship and working for mutual development. So in a sense, what we are saying is that we can have trust on intention of everybody. And we can make the program with the other on the basis of our evaluation of the mutual competence. And in the process, we will work for the development of my competence and the competence of the other. 